You know what? I'm gonna make my last drama related video on my main channel before I can stop because I don't want to get involved in drama and make drama related videos or posts. Hello everyone. It's me, Blood Shadow is here. Today, I'm gonna do my top 15 most disobedient users because they are delusional scumbags, adulterous headed traitors, and coquettish hearted disobediences. So, let's get this started, shall we? First off, I'm going to start with the descending number, which is 15. Anyways, number 15. Joseph the Animator 12, aka the Oops Guy. He is one of my most hated users. I'll tell you the reasons why he's my number 15 most disobedient user. 1. He cannot handle the word oops. 2. He ran it on his haters, which proves that he's a hypocrite for not handling his own hate. 3. His behavior is pitiful and dreadful. 4. His content is pitiable and disgraceful. 5. He supported Emmanuel Thomas. 6. He stalked other users, especially me when we still hate him. 7. He takes his haters and trolls way to the extreme. And last but not least, he rages in all caps, which proves that he's immature. So yeah, guys, this is why Joseph the Animator 12 is my most disobedient user because of the reasons. Next up, number 14. Flamer Gamer Master, which is Vinny Cross. Here's the reason why he's my most disobedient user in my opinion. 1. He keeps committing the crimes like CP, 9-11 jokes, etc. 2. His behavior is horrendous and heinous. 3. His content is delusive and pathetic. 4. He's still a hypocrite for posting nonsense. 5. He's the most traitorous and degenerate pedophile for doing CP 24-7. And lastly, he celebrated the anniversary tributes and joked on September 11th and COVID-19, which are completely heartless and awfully unfunny. So this is why exactly I hate Flamer Gamer Master because he's being disobedient, hypocritical, and delusional. Next up, number 13. Kaylin Hoffman the Rainbow Flame Warrior of Love 97. I know that she's the most selfish user. Now here are the reasons why she's being the most disobedient user. 1. She defends Abina of the New York Beyonder 2K4 and other unforgivable users. 2. She takes her haters and trolls way too seriously and goes after or against and attacks Luke D. DeVos and other users. 3. She selfishly and foolishly comments on their videos and posts nonsense. 4. Her behavior is stubborn and childish. 5. She's an adulterous headed disobedience. 6. She consistently accused people. 7. Her wrongdoing admission is unacceptable and deniable. And finally, she keeps sharing other people's posts and videos when they hate her, which proves that she's a hypocrite and a stalker. So this is the main reason why I hate Gail and Hoffman the Rainbow Flame Warrior of Love 97 so much because she's so selfish and childish. Next up, number 12. Austin the Superior Beyonder 2021. He's my least favorite antagonist because I told him the reasons why he's a disobedient user. 1. He yells, throws a tantrum, and makes electric blue lightning 2k8 suicidal on Discord. 2. He makes a lot of minors. 3. His behavior is inhumane head and disobedient. 4. His content is too childish and nonsensical. 5. He rages in all caps on Discord, which proves that he's immature and a manchild. 6. He's an insubordinate hypocrite and an insufferable stalker. And last but not least, he's worse than Abin of the New York Beyonder 2K4. So this is why I hate Austin the Superior Beyonder 2021 so much because he's my most hated antagonist. Note, if you still like or neutral to him, I can handle your opinion. Next up, number 11. Mary Rose. Yep, that's right. I know that she is my most unforgivable user because she's a thief, a vandalizer, and a plagiarizer. Now here are the reasons why I hate her so much. 1. She stole, copied, and misused other people's, especially Gail and No Anna Wieso see characters and works without permission 24-7. 2. Her behavior is entirely obnoxious and completely malevolent. 3. Her content is absolutely atrocious and retarded. 4. She uses a sock puppet account called Daniel Bacall. 5. She inappropriately vandalizes everything on Instagram. 6. She recklessly disabled the comments to avoid backlash and criticism. 7. She's the dumbest thief, the stupidest vandalizer, and the most disobedient plagiarizer. 8. She keeps making non-canon ripoffs out of the original ones repeatedly. 9. She keeps stalking users that I like when they hate her. And worst of all, she committed the crimes like stealing their ideas and doing inappropriate stuff. So yeah, guys. This is why everybody hates Mary Rose so much because she's still a thief, vandalizer, and plagiarizer. 
She needs to stop copying and plagiarizing other people's ideas constantly and come up with her own ideas, but she won't ever listen. Next up, number 10. Foxy the Fox 110. Of course, she's the most disgusting furry user we've ever heard. Here are the reasons why I mostly hate her so much. 1. She keeps making pointless reactions and useless commentaries continuously. 2. She's the most disgusting furry. 3. She committed a lot of crimes being a pedophilia and a criminal. 4. She keeps making up lies. 5. Her behavior is extremely toxic and hugely preposterous. 6. Her content is cringe-worthy and unoriginal. 7. She's being Darman 2.0 and Snipper Wolf 2.0. And lastly, she's a dispaced clown, a delusional retard, and a degenerate hypocrite. So this is why we would never support and trust this furry user because she did a lot of inappropriate stuff and pointless reactions 24-7. Next up, number 9. Jack King 2K9. He must be the most idiotic user or troll because he's a freedom of speech basher. I'll follow the reasons why I hate him. 1. He keeps forcing people to stop swearing non-stop, which proves that he's a freedom of speech basher. 2. He rages in all caps and spammed exclamation marks, which proves that he's an immature man-child and a childish go kid like a 3-year-old kid. 3. He keeps making bad videos and angry messages out of his haters and trolls, which proves that he's an egotistical hypocrite and it's an opinion bashing for taking his haters and trolls way too far and refusing to handle his own hate, backlash, and criticism. 4. He made his own pointless channel rules, which proves that he's a hypocrite. 5. His behavior is massively hypocritical and critically babyish. 6. His content is dangerously unacceptable and hypocritically atrocious. 7. He keeps blaming YouTube and making killing posts out of YouTube nonsense, which proves that he's violating YouTube community guidelines, terms of service, and policies. And finally, he sends any grounded threats to his haters and YouTube. So this is why exactly we hate Jack King 2K9 so much because he's acting like an immature man-child for forcing people to stop swearing. To all of Jack King 2K9's haters, you really need to ignore him because he's a troll. Next up, number 8. Neon Vortex Games. He is one of the most disobedient users I've ever heard. I'll tell anyone the reasons why I hate Neon Vortex Games. 1. He takes Super Amy 2008 and Sonya Panda Yes Henry Tran no way too seriously. 2. He milks Super Amy 2008's drama by giving her a false hate base. 3. His behavior is really terrible and horrible. 4. He defends Arturo Vortex Games from Super Amy 2008. 5. He makes lies about Super Amy 2008's gender on his stream, although Super Amy 2008's gender is not lying and it was actually her imposter. 6. He shares Super Amy 2008's posts while she hates him. 7. He uses inspect elements to make false proof and invalid evidence. And conclusively, he's being a hypocrite and a drama milker. So this is why exactly I strongly hate Neon Vortex games in my opinion because he keeps taking Super Amy 2008 way too seriously. Uh, let's just forget about Neon Vortex games because awesome rockstar Holden the Beyonder and FNAF fan 2K told me to ignore him instead of making crap videos and posts out of Neon Vortex games. Also, Super Amy 2008 told me not to listen to Neon Vortex games because I probably need to ignore him right now please. Moving on. Next up, number 7. Adriana the Nightcore Gamer. I know that she is my most disgusting enemy in my opinion. Let me tell anyone the reasons why she's my most disgusting user. 1. She keeps making shirtless posts out of male users, which proves that she's the smelliest pedophilia. 2. She keeps simping on Valeria 24-7. 3. She keeps taking Mukri Blue Eli Ultra Z Gios Gamer and the trolling of Harui Troll Me away to the extreme. 4. Her behavior is deceitful and egregious. 5. Her content is abysmal and detestable. And lastly and finally, she keeps making fake videos for Valeria. So yeah, guys. This is why we shouldn't trust Adriana the Nightcore Gamer because she keeps making shirtless posts out of male users and simping on Valeria. And Adriana the Nightcore Gamer, I have a message for you, Valeria hates you because you keep simping on Valeria 24-7. Next up, number 6. Arturo Vortex Games. He is one of my most hated users in my opinion because I fully despise him. Now here are the reasons why I hate him. 1. He keeps taking Super Amy 2008 way too far. 2. He defends his friend Neon Vortex Games from Super Amy 2008. 3. His behavior is brainless and nonsensical. 
4. He uses his roleplay accounts, which proves that he's a sock puppet maker. 5. He makes up lies about Super Amy 2008's gender on Neon Vortex Games stream. 6. He continuously milks Super Amy 2008's drama and hate based. 7. He manipulates people to hate Super Amy 2008 falsely. 8. He made a profile picture as Princess Peach, which proves that his profile picture is too girly. 9. He shares Super Amy 2008's posts while she hates him. And worst of all, his content is ridiculous and egotistical. So this is why I honestly hate Arturo Vortex games because he resists and disgusts me for defending his friend me on Vortex games, taking me and Super Amy 2008 way too far, and making up lies about Super Amy 2008. Again. Let's just ignore our Tora Vortex games because awesome rockstar Holden the Beyonder and FNAF Fan 2K8 told me to ignore him instead of making crap videos and posts out of our Tora Vortex games. Also, Super Amy 2008 told me not to listen to our Tora Vortex games because I probably need to ignore him right nowadays. Note, if you still like or neutral to this user, I can handle your thoughts. Moving on. Next up, number 5. Artie the Royal Match and Inner Global Home Video Fan, which is Artie the Pro. That's right. He's my most hated disobedient user in my opinion. Let me tell anyone the reasons why I always hate him. 1. He keeps attacking his haters, which proves he's a disobedient hypocrite for refusing to ignore his haters. 2. He keeps taking me way to the extreme. 3. He won't shut the freak up and leave me alone. 4. His behavior is childish and immature. 5. His content is despicable and selfish. 6. He keeps making face reveal videos consecutively. 7. He rages too recklessly, which proves that he's an immature man-child like a 3-year-old baby. 8. He's being Jonah Campbell 2.0. 9. He stalks other people and users that I like, except the hate ones when they hate him. 10. He makes alternate accounts and roleplay accounts, which proves that he's a sock puppet maker. And last but not least, he offensively said the n-word, which proves that he's racist towards black people or brown people. So this is why I strongly hate him so much because he keeps attacking and taking me and his haters way to the extreme for being a disobedient hypocrite and Jonah Campbell 2.0. Not to mention that he's acting like lovely peaches. According to Truly Princess Eva 2003 Productions, he cannot be trusted and supported because he did a lot of bad actions and horrendous stuff. Next up, number 4. Super Reese 2005. I really hate this user in my opinion because he's my most disobedient user. Here are the reasons why he's my most disobedient user. 1. He thinks that Lexi Peterson is his girlfriend when she's not his boyfriend. 2. His behavior is crappy and stubborn-headed. 3. His content is bland and generic. 4. He ranted on Aubrey the Kelsey Ballerini and Kane Brown fan with invalid reasons. And finally, he cannot handle the criticism for bashing other people's opinions. Those are the reasons why Super Reese 2005 is my most hated enemy, just like Super Amy 2008 and the Superstar Teen Boy 2K8 hate him. Next up, number 3. Adrian the Cine Grand Fanboy. As you may know, he's my most disobedient user in my opinion. I'll tell anyone the reasons why he's my most disobedient enemy. 1. He supports Foxy the Fox 110, which proves that he's a furry zoophile supporter. 2. His behavior is loathsome and intolerant. 3. His content is unlikable and senseless. 4. He makes pointless commentaries continually. 5. He cannot handle his lost friends. And conclusively, he says bad stuff to me. So yeah, guys. This is the main reason why I hate him because I know he's still a Foxy the Fox 110 the furry supporter. Note, if you still like or neutral to this user, then that's okay, I can handle your thoughts and opinions. Next up, in the penultimate, number 2. Sierra loves anime. Yep, that's right. She's my most disgusting disobedient antagonist for being a bikini girl. I'll tell anyone the reasons why she sucks big time. 1. She's a sock puppet by Red Flaming Caleb. 2. She keeps making disgusting bikini videos 24-7. 3. She keeps mentioning me and other innocent users to make the grossest videos out of me and other innocent users constantly. 4. She keeps making tickling videos out of innocent users, except the hate ones, which proves that she's a fetishist. 5. Her behavior is malicious and disgusting. 6. Her content is tremendously inappropriate and incredibly hideous. 7. Her avatar is still atrociously gross and horrendously despicable. 8. She cannot handle her own hate and criticism. 9. 
she made the smelliest teeth reveal posts, which proves that she's a pedophilia. 10. She still takes her haters and enemies way too seriously. 11. She ranted on her haters, which proves that she's a disobedient hypocrite. And worst of all, she disgustingly says inappropriate stuff to other people. Those are all the reasons why Sierra loves anime is the most disgusting disobedient sock puppet because her avatar is still cringy. Not only that, she keeps making dancing videos out of innocent users as undies and bikinis. And remember Sierra loves anime, please ignore this user because she's a troll. The last one because it's going to be the most extremely disobedient user, which is number one. Now get ready in 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh my god. That profile picture is totally gross. I think I'm about to vomit immediately. Oh god. I need to vomit somewhere else. Oh. My. Freaking. God. Melody Luna. She is one of my most extremely disgusting disobedient user we've ever seen. I really freaking hate this user so much with my burning passion because her profile picture is massively disgusting and insanely inappropriate. Sorry for my rage and frustration while I was angrily reacting to Melody Luna's grossest profile picture. Let me explain the reasons why Melody Luna is the grossest disobedient user while I calm down and I'm slightly angry. 1. She makes inappropriate videos out of innocent users, especially Pinky Princess Chan 2K7, Jasmine Pink Princess Pals 2K10, and etc. 2. Her behavior is outrageously atrocious and ultimately horrendous. 3. She obnoxiously committed a lot of crimes like doing CP. 4. Her content is recklessly disgusting and massively inappropriate. 5. She made the grossest new video called, Melody Luna Show Introduction Out of Her Haters with Bean Word Song by Cupcake. 6. She makes the most disgusting breast video out of Pinky Princess Chan 2K7 and herself. And last but worst of all, she's the most disturbing pedophilia, smelliest sock puppet, and the grossest hypocrite. So yeah, guys. Those are all the main reasons why Melody Luna is the most extremely disgusting degenerate disobedient user because she keeps making gross inappropriate videos out of her haters and enemies. And all of Melody Luna haters, I really need to suggest you to block and ignore her because she's the most disgusting troll. And that's it. Those were my top 15 most disobedient users because I really hate them so much in my opinion with my burning passion. But I'm gonna ignore 15 of them instead of attacking and going after or against 15 of them because I definitely don't want to get a false hate face and milk other people's drama. And yep, that's right. No more drama related videos on my main channel because I need to do something entertaining and funny on my content without drama related unless I do those on my drama related channel. Well anyways, that's all I have to say. Please make sure you comment and hit the subscribe button for more videos on my content. Until then. This is Blood Shadow the Eclipsed Journalist, signing off. Goodbye, good luck, see you later, have a nice day, and thanks for watching.